Hello, I'm Nathan Pennington. I'm the UK's only poet magician. Now, don't let that put you off. Uh, I know they are the two worst art forms in the world combined into a very narrow package. But don't worry, we're not actually going to do a poetry video. There are far too many of them, millions of them languishing on the YouTube servers. In fact, we're going to try out a magical experiment involving you as you sit at home in front of your computer. As you can see, we've got a clock face. I want you to just think of any one of those numbers between 1 and 12 any one of those numbers at all. Okay, fantastic. Now keep that number in your head. You can change your mind if you want at this moment. But once you've changed your mind, I want you to stick with that number. So you've got one number in your head and keep that number there. Now what I want you to do is just press your finger onto the screen, onto number 12. That's it, press your finger quite tightly onto the screen. Fantastic. Now what I want you to do is keep the number that you've just thought of in your head and spell it out one letter at a time moving around the clock clockwise. So for example, if you thought of the number one, you'd move once for each letter of that word. So O, N, E. And keep your finger on the screen at all times. Okay, if you can do that for me now. Fantastic. Now you've landed on the new number. So for example, you might have ended up on number three. Now what I want you to do is repeat that process one more time using that new number. So for example, you'd move once for each letter of three, so it'd be T H R E E, and keep your finger pressed tightly where you end up. Fantastic. Now, whatever number you're on, I want you to repeat that process just one more time, moving once for each letter of that number. Now, keep your finger pressed tightly onto the screen at the number that you've landed on. Keep your finger pressed tightly onto the screen on the number that you've landed on. Okay, keep your finger pressed tightly onto the screen at the number you've just landed on. Okay, what we're going to try and do is work out what number you've chosen. So okay, if you take your finger away from the screen now, it takes quite a bit of concentration to do this through. Hopefully, the number that I think you've chosen and ended up on was the number one. Hopefully, that's actually you. So, it seems to have left a bit of a smudge right where that number one is. Um, it's better. I hope the magic turned out well for you on your side of the screen. If you'd like to see some more of my magic and poetry, then please visit www.myspace.com forward slash Nathan Pennington. Thank you. Um, do you ever have trouble in a conversation figuring out whose turn it is to talk and why? Well, well, if it's six million people roughly died in the Holocaust for over five years. Uh, Every year in Europe, its population decreases by three million. That's because uh, of low fertility rates, uh, not because of high death rates. So, if we look at it conversely from devil's advocate point of view, um, that's three million people that haven't haven't been born. It's, uh, and is that is that comparable in in any way? Is not being born compar comparable to to dying? Right. Well, no, okay, so what, what, um, uh, let me ask you, what equals a germ in your mind? Like a bit of noodle plucked off the counter and eaten willy-nilly, or is a germ more than that? Well, I guess the thing is they have all of these, um, uh, little subtitles underneath the, the, not the brand names, but the product names, like, um, like on the cornflakes it says, small flakes, still awakes, and I mean that's, that's wrong for a start, that just shows how cheap they are, because it should be small flakes, still awakens, and as a poet I know that a half rhyme is perfectly valid, they could, they could use that quite, quite validly, um, and then there's also, what, what they're basically trying to say in these little short rhyming things is, you know, um, a load of s**t, 
still technically food. Um, and but you know they they get you they drag you in when you've got no money by buying the, the the basic or the value products. But then they know that you'll you'll as you get more money and move up the career ladder, you'll you'll move on to the uh, the, the finest the te the Tesco finest or uh, the you know the the normal generic stuff. But, we went on to the other brands, so they don't they don't really mind if they lose money on, on these on these products. If you go in and buy nothing but that, it's a long term bet for them. And when and when you find yourself situating a word in a poem, where does it relate in terms of other words? There was one, but the, she could have been, but. I think she was too mature, or I was too immature, or both. Had that not been the case, I could be married now with children. Okay. What do you do with that feeling of being tricked? I think you, you take it, you ingest it. You face it down and see, examine exactly what's happened, and then you take steps not to do it again. And you also decide on the value of what you've lost and whether it is worth taking the steps for security, and whether you're going to seem to. I guess it's the same dilemma that you have when you represent the state. Were, were I to be king, would I execute someone who had embezzled the state, or would I think, well, that's a little bit of embezzlement, they do a good job in other ways. Uh, <clears throat> what do you reckon about these who wander off into the fields and win? The thing about that is, it's an anagram of evil, E-V-O-L, e not evil, although some people might like to draw the connection. Um, I think that it is, it is, it has evolved as a means of closing our eyes off to another partner's uh, obvious faults, and it's supposed to just get you through a period in which you are either going to be able to impregnate the other person or, or not you're going to establish that your genes are not compatible and if they're not then it doesn't last past that particular point so you fail to uh, get a woman pregnant uh, within the, the period um, of uh, romantic love uh, and it wears off that's all it is 